Hey y'all, it's Jamie. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about making smoke come out from the back of your Iron Man suit or any other prop that you have. Um, so I started off initially with, with doing some coils with, uh, with a uh, hair dryer and some other things, uh, trying to uh, self make a uh, fog machine that I could use in the back of my Iron Man suit. Uh, I've seen some people use uh, CO2 canisters uh, strapped to the back of their suit. I've seen people use uh, a d duster, computer duster, you know, put it upside down and then have it spray out. Um, I wanted something a little more environmentally friendly and something that I could reuse over and over again without having to toss away a can or refill a CO2 canister. Um, and this is pretty much what it comes down to. Now, uh, there are some folks over at the Ghostbusters fan site um, that actually originally started doing this for their Ghostbusters uh, 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 proton packs and for their uh, their ghost traps. And I uh, happened to see the, the, the thread and said, hey, that's a really good idea. So I'm borrowing some ideas and I'm trying to modify this to make it a little bit smaller and a little bit more... Um, foggier than what they're doing. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and discuss the parts that we're looking at here. So this is a completed unit, or basically the wiring is, is set up and it, it, it's a functioning unit. Uh, so we'll go from here. So we're, we're looking at a six volt aquarium pump. Now it looks something like this. Um, and I bought this off eBay. And you can probably see the numbers on there and kind of get a general idea of what I'm using. So uh, that's number one. You need some air airflow to go through the cartomizers. Now, the, the, these are um, Kanger, K-A-N-G-E-R, -K uh, T2 cartomizers. And they usually run at about 3.7 volts. Um, I'm running them at 6, uh, which may blow them out quicker, but they produce a lot of smoke. Um, and I'll be doing two sets of these on each side. So if you're, if you're looking at inside the suit, my camera's not focusing. There we go. Uh, I'll basically have two of these uh, not attached to each other, but in close proximity uh, inside a tube with a fan on top. Now, this is a six volt fan. Hey, it's Intel. Um, and I'll be using this to basically uh, push the rest of the smoke out from the canister once once uh, once it's built up enough. So we'll go into that later. Uh, a Plalu chip. Um, I use Plalu chips. They're easy. They're simple. Uh, they're great to program. Uh, Arduinos, if you program them and load the, the software up to it, you can't uncompile the code and bring it back out. So if you want to make a change, it's kind of like you have to have your original code to do it with. Uh, Plo is a lot easier. They're, they're cheaper. And I love them. So um, we'll get into that in a little bit. Now, as far as battery power goes, uh, we're going to be using a 6 volt battery to power... Uh, two of these and I'm not sure if I want to do um, one for each section so in other words if I'm doing uh, four there's gonna be two on one side and then two on the others of the jetpack and I'm not sure yet whether or not the draw is gonna be good enough if I push two of these um, or one of these to make enough smoke I'll have to do some testing on that to make sure but um, basically for now I'm using one battery pack one six volt battery pack to push both of these and I gotta set up another set of these um, a six volt or 12 volt battery pack, I'm sorry. Um, and that, that will be used to push LEDs. Uh, so you have, uh, I'll be doing red and, and yellow LEDs, uh, to simulate a, a jet pack sort of firing effect. Uh, maybe I might throw some blue in there too. Um, we're also looking at a tip 120 transistor for power switching. Uh, I did pick up a relay, but the relay may not work the way that I want it to. And it's a little bit too large. So I may not do that after all. Uh, we're looking at some aquarium tubing, and that's to join the cartomizer to the air pump. And I'm trying to think what else I'm missing here. Uh, I think that's pretty much about it. So um, I'll go through the steps of assembling this. Uh, you have to kind of uh, grind off a bit of the, the chrome on the outside. These are copper underneath. So once you get the chrome off, uh, you can easily solder on uh, your wires uh, to make a good connection so you're getting um, proper voltage to your cartomizer. So, um, and let me show you real quick how this looks when you power it on. So the, the pump's a little bit noisy, but 
you can see there's quite a bit of smoke that comes off that the battery uh, is a little bit dead I've been running it for about two or three days just testing it making sure that everything works and you can hear the motor kind of winding down because it's getting less and less juice to it but um, that's the beginning of it oh and the the uh, UBEC uh, universal uh, battery elimination circuit um, so if you're running a 12 volt battery uh, you can step your voltage down uh, to either 5 or 6 volts depending on what you want to do and I'm still trying to figure out the battery configuration in this um, it's something that it will um, I'll be discussing later on in the video so stay tuned guys there'll be much much more on this but th these are the parts that you'll need for your fog machine for the back of your Iron Man suit for now thanks for watching stay tuned for more uh, like subscribe share and as always guys do your thing thanks